to apologize for that children won't listen to me it was live for the last 15 seconds and i have a conversations i have no idea whether you can hear them or not but those are my children and they have left the studio and been replaced by adults mature sophisticated uh, non rebellious people but let's start with the beginning here instead of a rant we have to first spend 3 minutes congratulating each other on a fantastic thing there's parking in this building i mean <laughs> guys thank you so much oh and also also 7 years we've completed 7 years today well done guys 7 years as you can see from the lack of sound the atmosphere is very vibrant people are screaming in the aisles everyone i suppose uh, the shane won death has affected us also it's uh, tempered our celebration slightly yeah but we have silvery hello sir dressed as for some reason that tent which now has become signature is yeah, like it's, superman it's a, it's a symbol of the podcast now. I mean, superman without the cape was a waste of time and silvery without that is a waste of time yeah. uh, then we've got kavita uh, for the first time in i don't know i can't remember she's been on the air I with me you've been on once maybe one, no? no once or twice you do, filled yeah. in on cock and bull because uh, uh, I, one of our guests I, got I, yeah i feel like you've been on once Long yeah. ago, maybe yeah. Long ago, yeah. And, and I feel that it's I fair that, that there was debut. a cricket conversation which I was like, I don't yeah. know anything about it, Ooh, so yes. why don't you go yes. for it? Yeah. Yes, yes. There'll be a lot of this, sir. Uh, deja vu and looking back and nostalgia on yeah. this show. So please bear with us <laughs> because I can't stop people. They're all emotional and crying out here. But yes, so she was on the show. So that's once in seven years. It breaks the Olympics record. Something yeah. like that. It's it's a bit like Russian democracy. <laughs> once in seven years, <laughs> maybe if they're lucky. All uh, right, and then we've got Amit. Who, let's face it, is the uh, probably a little emotional deep down. Maybe not right now, but mm -hmm. it's been seven years and it's been hugely difficult. It's also been hugely uh, entertaining for him in many ways because he's had so many things to to deal with and parts to go through, and uh, all along. Mm -hmm. Um god a lesser man would have really been destroyed because this is unknown territory doing a podcast <laughs> the funny part is i remember back in the day when we first met 7 mm -hmm. years ago a lot of people just wouldn't understand what a podcast is so yeah. you know you almost like any other business you say oh you're nighty they get excited immediately right yeah, yeah. but now so when you say uh, i'm doing a podcast and then this quizical look either they don't want to show how stupid they are so that look is you know whatever <laughs> or they ask you point blank and then your heart sinks you're like is this really a good business it's like that but one man saw through all that the pioneers are the most important people in the world ladies and gentlemen one man saw through all that and by that i mean suresh who stood by <laughs> <laughs> who stood by amit to thick and thin we'll try and show you a picture of suresh at some point because he's been in the canteen from start to finish the smaller numbers uh, the smaller guys that's the wrong word the less paid guys in the in the pantheon sometimes are the most effective and uh, so you know uh, he's a very familiar face as is kavita amit mine and a few others and lots of new faces because um, we'll go through the whole birth and then beyond that and then the good news that followed and where we are now so sir today is yeah. also women's day and our 900th episode yeah who cares <laughs> <laughs> yes. my wife said you're the only one who's not wish me for women's day and i was like really <laughs> But it's not fair because it's a WhatsApp forward, brother. I know. It's like everybody just who are the chicks on my list, you know, boom, and it just you just come on. <laughs> I mean, where's the where's the feeling in that? It's because you have 364 days to yourself, Cyrus. So Kavita, now come on. That is why I'm saying fight Women's Day as a point. Hundred percent. I just done, like you know what? I've Let's done eat two cake today. corporate events for Women's Day and got paid, so it's done. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but but you don't you think it's like tokenism is patronizing after some time? Like, oh, we'll give you a separate day like Black History Month. We'll give you Black History Month, and the rest of the eleven months. I is completely what? agree, but like I said, if it's another opportunity for me to have cake. can like whatever i'll do that anyway okay, and then celebrate 364 uh, days yeah <laughs> my way i i get scared of the militants amongst us both men both men and women when it comes to women's day the ones who say you know oh they're not taking it seriously and things like that you know like something i wonder who is the that women the right are telling you that there are a couple i've met a couple who are like you know you should understand and it's just sometimes i feel that you know it's a it's a wrong sort of uh At this point, on Women's Day, it should be a little more positive and celebratory, and not so much about the angst and the Sylvia Plath uh, sort of feminism sort of move. But maybe I'm the wrong person. I've said all the wrong things. All the last wrong things. Week. Not wrong. I've been listening to. We have to you. abused by mistake, and uh -huh. we, we offer apologies immediately. People of different genders, mixed genders, uh, women, men, old people, young people, fat people, people from different states, different communities. Almost. I'm not sure if we did, uh, but you know. Did you all get that? When Silvery, no, when no. Silvery starts getting worried for yeah. me, <laughs> yeah. I mean that should really be writing on the bloody wall. Yeah. And he puts his head down and he doesn't know what to say, and yeah. I'm like, and yeah. Oh I saw that. I heard that episode. Sort of yeah, we we yeah. we've been we were like the Titanic last week. We were sinking left, right, and center. Really There's no hope. It was a challenging thing to <laughs> listen to. <laughs> the first six years were great. <laughs> 
seven year age. Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's get the others involved in the conversation. Yes. Silvi has a notepad with nothing written on it. Yeah. So he's obviously sketching Kavita's profile. Getting ready. Profile. Everybody getting ready is for trying this. to stuff notes in Cyrus's hand for yeah. questions he should ask, which is completely pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Eventually, but I was no, getting that's that not fair. It's a tradition that's been going on since the beginning of the podcast. That's not fair because that sounds like I'm arrogant or something, which I'm not. I don't have my glasses. Come prepared. I what am I? I'm, I, I hate doing that because then they take pity on you, you know, because they can see you. <laughs> when you take a paper to the side of your face, yes. you immediately give it away, you know. God, ah. I, how I wish I left the glasses. I can't okay. go back. I told you I left everything. And, oh, the, the, the the seventh anniversary, you were there on the first day. You are here on the seventh yeah. day. Yeah, yeah that's so, a lot, no? So, so we mean, have to like, go back to that old story where I met you at Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks, yes. I think it was March. So we were trying to renegotiate our contract with uh, CN and IBN. Mm. And, and then, you took a pit stop. So there was some, uh, I think, <laughs> was it Manoj Modi? One of these really big guns had come to meet us. And so it was right there next to the Ambani office, etc. And uh, so I was like, you know, very happy with the kind of status we had got with some corporate head honcho coming to meet us. And then this guy with an American accent just stopped me. As I mean, his body language, he gets up. He's a little musical in his movements. You know? <laughs> uh, a little jumpy. Has anyone ever said that to you? you know, like, musical in your movements. There's a rhythm. There's a rhythm. Uh, I, I, I I'm not making fun. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah, so okay. he got up like that. He sprung on me, and you know, I was okay and very sweetly. But I think the American accent talk about racism or whatever. <laughs> caught you and <laughs> caught you to take everybody. him a little more seriously. He does very well because of that. Exactly. Wow. Am I right? How's it with the ladies? The ladies actually, I think. Uh, Do the ladies just, love him? They love him because the voice is that's why his voiceover sounds much better than any yeah. of ours yeah. it's almost like what y'all have been discussing on this show right it's like you know there's a persuasive like you know yeah. tone to Amit's voice yeah. that's why all his promos and all of that really work it's, it's like hey man I should go and click on the show that I don't need in my life <laughs> at all is it why the foreigners all it. did well in India because the women were like, wow, we like your accent, stay. <laughs> Timur was, I will maybe. kill. No, I don't, don't know kill. how long Just that's talk. going to last, but maybe for like the interim show, if that's what you think, like girls are impressed In with. The first but 10 minutes, I've likened him to Timur for some reason. It's such an unfair, unfair thing to say. Anyway, going back to that Starbucks. Yes. So we met and I was the first, I was the first googly actually, because when he said, he gave me a second to digest and I remember Amit mean, talks with his hands up like that, you know. Like, Little rap like, so, star uh, style. Oh, by the way, have you heard of podcasts? podcast? Do you know what a podcast is? And all I had to do was say, bro, I have no idea. And he was ready for that. You know, mm. he was not in a, yeah. com- it wasn't like complex situation, but nobody knows podcasts. He's okay with it. I went and said, of course. And then I remember, so then we discussed, he said, okay, I want you to try, give it a shot, whatever, I think you'll be right for it. And then he disappears. Back in the car with Kunal and somebody else, I'm talking and I say, guys, you know what a podcast is? And nobody has a clue. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought you'd like landed one. No, I was like, no, how the hell do I find him? Meet, him? meet him the second time, he's going to ask me. You know, <laughs> Have you done your I'll research? Be, I, no, he won't. He'll just he'll <laughs> talk to me like I know podcasts. And I'll be like, I had no clue. No idea. You know. But I think it's just like totally made for you, no, Cyrus? It's well the talk radio you know, part. Age nobody mentioned that. gracefully yeah. over just sitting oh, oh, in this. I would have done this at sixteen, bro. This you would have done it, right? This is the silvery. Oh, by the way, there are, oh, there's things happening in the studio and people are getting distracted. This happens okay, whenever we can I engage ourselves. No, whenever I do a monologue, Kavita, this happens. This so people happens. are just losing interest. <laughs> this in is your rant around. time. Yeah. <laughs> so Amit, what were you going through when you saw Cyrus at the restaurant? Going so, through. It's not a love. Like, what, what was? Wow. Not, what was, <laughs> was, was, was <laughs> this is not. This is not the script for Ek Dujhe Ke Liye. Please, for God's sake, what the hell are you saying? What is going through your mind? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it was sometime in Feb. Uh, I think we did our first yeah. recording in March. I think this was sometime in Feb. Yeah. I was meeting a lawyer because I wanted to start the business. So I was literally meeting a lawyer to figure out contracts. And uh, Cyrus was there. And Cyrus and, and Kunal. And you added one more contract. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, no, okay, so, Cyrus, so Cyrus <laughs> and Kunal, right? I mean, like they oh, walk in. It's like karma, no? Yeah. yeah, I mean, you just think this is the right. I don't know. Yeah. Let them finish. Yeah. No, no. I mean, like you guys walked in, and uh, the lawyer was like, "So you're talking about people like Cyrus Brocha? You want to do stuff with them?" Like, yeah, yeah, I'm actually. So then I was like, "Okay, yeah, let's go talk to him." So oh, wow. really, yeah, it was literally wow. he. He kind wow. of instigated. My dad's anyway. a lawyer. Maybe it was my dad. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, Bita, let's earn, let's earn some more. <laughs> let's try and find another way. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, I'm sorry. We gotta address this. What's going on with the audio quality? Oh, uh, suddenly there's a dip in our performance. Oh, really? No, there's way too many people cha- ma- mentioning it in the chat. What's going on with it? Uh, this is the problem having Amit on. He pays attention to the chat. Sounds like Mono. Yeah. Wow. Me and Silver, yeah. we, we ignore any criticism. Seven years have gone by with no, that. No, I thought... Uh, so they, it's they too it much. It's not... If it was oh, one damn, person no, or two so people, it's one thing. It's like a lot of people mentioning this now. 
Maybe it's because everybody's talking together. Mm. Let's go back we're to college. Play. From, uh, we're doing it the way we normally do it, right? I don't see anything. Yeah, new we're here. doing it the way we normally do it. Um, is Cyrus is Mike's level? Up? Is it just Cyrus that people are having issue with? Cyrus's Cyrus voice, voice is low. Oh, okay. Is low. And I thought oh. Silvery's audio is bad. It's what someone says. No, Sil- Silvery's Silvery's voice, voice is, is bad. bad. Yeah. And Cyrus's audio is low. Yeah. Now it's clear. Okay. All right. All right. While they're trying to balance that, I'll just go into my Riyaz practice. Ah. That was the first thing, actually. I do remember that, right? One of the first things you said is that I want a parody South Indian music. <laughs> Did I? I can't remember. Yeah, you, you said. No, not South Indian music. Oh, again, no, now this sounds like racism. South classic. Karnatic classical, vocals. Karnatic okay. vocals. Specifically. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? You wanted something like. I Sarah. have chased girls in the IMG and St. Xavier's College. This is love. Oh. I have sat through all these concerts. You know, if you don't have a discerning ear for classical music, either Western or Indian, you are not, you know, it's a four or five hour concert totally. with yeah. people who love it, yeah. who are moving Her. to it. Yeah. There you go. So you like this, this shit all I, the time. It's not, I'm you know, to this all the time. But I'm saying that there must be real love for the girl oh. that you sit through it. Because I, when you think about <laughs> it, I mean, <laughs> I mean, why? <laughs> I've had, I, That's I, a I've dedication, uh, I mean... I mean, beyond, I know that, like, you know, the ability to sit and then to also, like, have somebody sit next to you and, like, have them enjoy it as much but as you But Kavita is the ultimate Unless form Unless you're passing notes and all, like, follow this. Uh, <laughs> That's too much. Yeah. It's very mathematical <laughs> also. You need, to have, uh, you need to have a certain intelligence. That. There's astuteness yeah. that has to be there. But, you know, it's like you're looking around and you suddenly realize that you're finding this funny and nobody else is. I think that's the <laughs> ultimate form of comedy. It's like, you know, in a hospital or in a funeral or whatever. When I mean, you're the only person who's getting really humor and her. everyone else is like... And they're... They're really enjoying it, and that's funny. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you look around at happy eyes. Of course, the podcast will never yeah. get that feeling. Nobody, nobody is satisfied. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What I like is what we built up audience-wise, uh-huh. and I hope they come in right now. Is most of them are cheeky, irreverent, silly, stupid, yeah, yeah. in your face, cocky. All the characteristics that I like in Indians. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy as long as you don't no, become. We have a great audience. We yeah, have, we yeah. really do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like you know, wish they were standing for elections in UP as we speak. <laughs> I'd have voted for these guys. Yeah. All that we were standing and we would win because of our audience. They wouldn't vote for us. Man, That's the reason why they're here. <laughs> the one thing would never do is put these guys in government. Are you nuts? No. Was that the reason? Was my mic not muted on the computer? Amit is going to the fourth dimension yeah, all the time. Just, he sorry. just crosses in. Folks who are listening, I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, but this is uh, we're in studio. We can't yeah. have screw ups. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't believe that's true. I believe in India you can have screw-ups anywhere. <laughs> I have done shows with the best people in the world and you know the battery has been forgotten in the microphone. And I mean, these things happen. Uh, Lata Mangeshkar, uh, God bless her soul. I've seen a concert where the mic didn't come on for the first four to five Absolutely. lines. Oh, really? She just continued. She, she didn't care. Yeah, people, yeah, exactly. were, people were singing along because she was raising yeah. her hand and sing to sing yeah. along. They were singing wow. along and, and okay. then they figured it out halfway through the song. But you know, I mean, just continued. Ah. I mean, you know, ask your money back. Hey, Lata ji, just by oh, the way, <laughs> fourth <laughs> song, <laughs> 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 half return. Yeah. Anyway, so while we fight these audio... Oh, by the way, these audio no, problems... I think, were, I think they're sorted. But they were there from the beginning. Uh, yes. Because we went to so many different studios and we had all yeah. kinds of ups and downs. Well, so also. that is, audio is always an issue, right? I mean, yeah. like, if we it's an audio to, m- medium, bro. Which is why we have to make sure, sure that it's not. So after seven years, we've reached nothing. Learned yes. nothing, gone nowhere. No, no, it's been sorted now, I think. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Well, we still got about 45 minutes plus left in the show. I don't yes. think it's... Yeah. Uh, so, it, yeah. Let's move on to the history to of IVM. Year eight. Okay. Okay. History of IVM. Yeah. So, okay. uh, what I want to ask. So, we already. What does it about stand for? People ask me all the time. Okay, great. How did the name come about? Indus Fox Media. Uh, Indus Valley Civilization. No, uh-huh. basically, the domain name availability. When you're looking for a website, that's how you name a company these days. You have to be able to find the website name for it. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, I was thinking the India Voice Network as like my first kind of blush uh, mm. thought, but then IVN podcast or anything like that wasn't really sounding as good. Mm. And then I found IVM, uh, I found IndusVox.com. India Voice was not there. So basically that's the Let's other thing. Let's be cooler I, and call it Vox. Yeah. So that well, then I was hoping, then we'll get sued. I tried to tell him to change did. it. Which we did. <laughs> which we did. <laughs> oh, we got sued as well yeah. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got, uh, uh, okay. so there's this company called Vox Media built, uh, made out of the U.S., which at the time when we started was basically a software platform. Mm. After we started, they became a uh, they became a site and they became a site that owns a bunch of other sites. And they sent us a legal notice saying that, hey, your name is our name. And I'm like, dude, fuck you. We basically, we were here first. You said, what the Vox? Yeah, what the Vox? <laughs> <laughs> no. Vox you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Where were you at this point? 
I wasn't at uh, what the in this box or what? Is wrong with you, man? <laughs> uh, really? Antrik's joined us when? I mean, like it's been two and a half years now. Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. Guys, August this 2019. audio thing is still not sorted. Is I it still not sorted? How do you know it's not sorted? How come I don't? Because, because in the chat, the audio's back. Somebody's there's no chat back. here for me. I'm, Why? Oh, I'm on another show. Obviously, I'm broadcasting like to Australia. I think. I think Amit's sound issue. Amit's audio. Amit I think they're just p- pulling your chain Amit now. Is not They've gone yeah. first to Cyrus, then to Silvery. Uh, now Amit, then <laughs> coming from Kavita. Yeah, this is just guys yanking our chain. Yeah, I, I, I think let's just assume it's working. Yeah. It's now, working at this oh, point, okay. right? It's a free thing at the moment, so this is what you get. Yes, yeah. uh, and, and also start audio, paying for the podcast. Uh, I can we'll see improve. on the oh. audio engineering thing that is definitely recording over there. So what's good scenario, yeah. guys? Go if we can just go listen to the audio. audio. You yeah. can take a look at the team of people we have. I always believe more people we have, the bigger the mess. Oh we God. have a, like seven, ten, fifteen people. <laughs> this is yeah, a typical yeah. flat in Mumbai where you know the family members <laughs> just won't leave. There's one guy squatting on the floor here. I don't even know who he is. He's He's going to probably get back problems in about five minutes. <laughs> um, it's a very bad posture, brother. And don't do this when you're having sex. Whatever happens, this is a very bad posture. He's just paying so, so much attention to right yeah, now at this point. Yeah. He has no idea you're talking about. <laughs> so the audio problem we're having is that the audio engineer is not listening. <laughs> 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 just lying. Sign language will work. Yeah, work. ouch. <laughs> but Cyrus Kalang, congratulations! 900 episodes. Thanks, bro. You're Thanks. You're the longest running podcast we have. I was just showing off on the dinner table yesterday, but nobody was sitting with me, so it was a waste. of time <laughs> but uh, it's like our tv show is about closing on to 800 uh, which oh. is a lot you know yeah. and now 900 here already been doing a tv show for a wait kavita the funny thing is that i don't work Everybody says, "What do you do?" <laughs> I'm I'm like, "I'm 900 episodes and eight, walk out. I, I was like, "What?" I did so much, but I really don't. Know. I'm walking dogs all the time. I'm lifting weights, so you know, trying to hide at home and not take phone calls. So I I'm don't know. I'm still being bad at tech. I'm <laughs> cool. <laughs> you couldn't so be you worse. You need a little bit. I mean, I, I should do the I should do the engineering Maya. today, so you can just blame <laughs> yeah, someone. Now you should have been just like you know your chops. You know what buttons to my press. My relationship with my wife is all eyebrow. Uh, with my daughter, rather, oof, Freudian moment. If ever there was one, <laughs> <laughs> need a therapist on the show. <laughs> I mean, there's no coming back from that. But ours is all eyebrows. Yeah, everything I say, it's just. Everything eyebrows raised, uh, or everything I have to say, it's, it's frustrating. It's contempt, but not crossing the line. No, no, there's contempt yeah. there. It's yeah. frustrating having <laughs> to deal with the parents. <laughs> no, no, it. no, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Because I had to explain to my mom, and I, you it's, get impatient, man. You get like, impatient. Yeah, yeah. it's just like uh, Google, yeah. Google, <laughs> Google. Yeah. yeah. Like right. we went back to Zoom now for one one show after a long time. So I just asked her, "Do we? Is it okay? I go to the email the normal way and get Zoom?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. So she, she tells me, "Why didn't you check and find out and then come back to me?" Literally said that. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Wow, I mean, that's literally fair. like a no, mother talking to a son. Yeah, that's like, the, that that is the right answer. Yeah. Try it yourself first once. Come back if you have a problem. This derision in the voice. So also, yeah. Also, Tone is everything. See, if you have two or three minutes, no, you can figure out everything on YouTube. There are tutorials for every <laughs> single Cyrus thing. Cyrus is nodding. Okay. Sure. Uh, just when okay. I do that, the Wi-Fi goes. <laughs> oh, he's shot. It's like when, when we use the GPS to find locations. Me and Prakash, my beautiful chauffeur from Shahrukh Khan. Yeah. आ गया आ गया हाँ बोल पांच मिनट और लगेगा हाँ आ गया नहीं अभी Wi-Fi गए uh okay <laughs> where do we go from here we no idea <laughs> lanes of car <laughs> happens all the time. In the meantime, the audio engineer is still looking a little unhappy. I'm, I'm a little scared. So, in case you can't hear us, we apologize. But this is a one-off. Uh, yeah. From yeah. from the seventh year onwards, we hope to yeah, raise right. the standards. Yeah, I mean, like after seven years, if we've still not figured sound, then there's a problem. Well, look about governance then. Oh, oh, oh I mean, let's not even. We've go given there, so many people. Right? In fact, this is the seventh year of this present. This. <laughs> 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 this <regime. laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. We we almost we yeah, well, almost, we were almost, contemporaries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I I remember we started a little bit before they got into power. I Literally think. the second month. Yeah, I think it was a we few were months. April, sort of March, April. We started May. They're in in power. I remember the first. Was, was them being in power one of the reasons why you're like okay, we need more. speech uh mm. no we no no we did we were political we, yeah we were, we're not just cock and bull started yeah. becoming here and then we had a couple of people on uh. aman aman amit uh, the mtv writer guy was um, amit varma and um, the journalist gentleman uh, with names siddharth bhatia yeah those so we had a few of those guys in who yeah. were very strongly uh, let's say <laughs> left leaning mm. and but but we tried to balance no, it out we were very clear balancing yeah, it out we're, we're, we're not political in that sense. we had yogi adityanath on he just didn't turn up yeah. he said let's have everybody on we want yeah. we want them all yeah yes Uh, because uh, him in English and me in Hindi, I thought that would be the show for the decade. Clash of the Titans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really. And I started word of the day. Can you imagine? Oh, that would be a bad. But up the day. It's just 
but if he didn't get it, like you'd probably oh. not walk down on him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> oh, my, my cousins in Lucknow being <laughs> paraded oh, you know, awesome. as we speak. Uh, I was going to make a very bad turn. No, please, please, please don't, don't say that. Never do that. Come on, you have to say it. <laughs> no, this, this, this is like, audio. No, you just said that. Oh, my cousins in Lucknow, like not finding like whatever. I'm just like, yeah, probably like just like slowly grilled, like. <laughs> Grill. <laughs> that's Just the, because that's Lucknow the, is the land of kebabs. kebabs. Oh, that way. I thought yeah. you're talking about the that uh, famous case in uh, Ashok Hotel in Delhi. Oh wow! Oh okay. no, no, that was what? far. That's yeah, like, yeah. We went like uh, went far. This was just like some like. Lucknow kebab joke. So hers was purely food related <laughs> and innocent, and my mind you is you took it to murder evil. and cannibalism. <laughs> yeah, the grotesque and the gory. Yes. Oh, spelt uh, without the a u. Uh, I have friends called gory, so I don't want them to get upset. Yeah, that's uh, strange thing when yeah. names in different cultures or things like the word Lund uh, in Swedish is a popular name. Yeah. You know, I mean, but here, I mean, you say it and they slap you immediately. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I I love that. I love knowing names, things which don't work in other cultures. It's just so much fun. <laughs> There's okay. a bunch of stuff like that, right? I think Coca-Cola famously was naming some sub product. I can't remember what product it was, but it was they they named it something which meant fart in the local language. Oh, and uh, Pada. I, yeah, no, this was early. Yeah. This was like 60s, 70s, right? So not that much market research. It went out and then immediately came back. So they just came up with a word without thinking in the language it would translate differently. Yeah. Uh, no, even pronunciations, right? Like yeah. the Skoda Lora. Yeah. 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 I yeah. did those. I did some dealer conferences when they launched yeah, that. Yeah. And in they the don't north. know how to pronounce the Lora but with an L. But I like used to make jokes about it. They also laugh. That's why they liked yeah. it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> liked the name. It worked very well. Everybody said that name, especially no, there's North obviously India. great recall. Great recall. And it brings a smile. It's like Rahul Gandhi. It brings a smile to your face. You know, immediately people all are happy. <laughs> Mom, do you say Rahul Gandhi on stage for some reason? Yeah. It brings a smile. I, I, no disrespect, but it does. Like Arnab. I have the two three go tos. Oh. If, if you're dying on on stage, Silvery here's my yeah, gift. Yeah. Get two three go tos. You're safe, Patanjali. For some reason, people. Acha. <laughs> yeah, correct. You, you don't have to have a reason. The bendy doll. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, that guy is fantastic. But uh, no. I mean, so that look uh, on his no. hawkish look on his face that something's wrong with the audio again. Uh, well, I mean, like I'm just seeing a lot of. Damn! Everyone is saying yeah. Amit should type, type instead of talking. talking and. Well, how come Amit's audio is gone? I, mean, the first I, I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's a bad policy move to go against the CEO. I mean, I, I would think that. Yeah, on the seventh anniversary. This out of the four of us, Sylvie, don't mind. I, th- I think they should have gone for your audio. <laughs> yeah, you, you could. We then me, can exchange. Then Kavita, and then Amit. It's just a lesson in uh, if you want to do any kind of. No, uh, I legit giri. feel that Amit and I should exchange because Amit will be doing a lot more talking on this. No, that's okay. I, I, I think uh, well, if it's that much of an issue, yeah, we can do that. You can do it in the break. We can we take can, an earlier break. We can if do you that want. in the break. Yes. Should okay. we take an earlier break? Uh, let's take a break. Yeah, and allow you guys to switch. Yeah, yeah. So we're taking a five-minute early break. I don't know why we're asking permission because this show follows no <laughs> rules and it's rubbish anyway. Uh, when we come back, it'll probably be terrible to hear because it'll be better, uh, as in the sound, uh, not the show. Yeah. So here's the break in the voice of Amit Doshi, the leader who brought you IVM many, many years ago, ex- seven exactly. Here's the break. Hey everybody, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. On Advertising is Dead, foodpreneur and chef Saranj Koyla joins Varun to talk about his latest venture, Bombay Meal Rolls. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam speaks to Ashwin Patni, head product and alternatives at Axis AMC. They discuss the LSS investing in India. On Smarter with Sid, Siddharth highlights lessons we should all learn from the Tinder Swindler documentary. On Therimir Raste, Keshav takes us on a tour of Dubai's Grand Malls. And on Say No to Drama, Chetna talks about our relationship with money. So, on a personal note, I wanted to let you all know that this week marks the 7th anniversary since I started IBM. I'm eternally grateful to the team we have here, especially Kavita Rajwade and Teja Sringarpure, who have been here since the beginning. They've seen the struggles, our eventual acquisition by Pratilipi, and our continued struggles to make podcasting a large and thriving part of the media industry. We have the best hosts in the world, and I have to say that I'm so glad and so grateful that they have chosen to work with us. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to you, the millions of folks that have heard or watched our content. All I can say is, you ain't seen nothing yet. I hope you join us as we continue this journey. In the meanwhile, do follow us on social media where IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any of our other shows for that matter, please do tell a friend. Also, don't forget to rate us on any platform you're listening to. You can also check us out on YouTube. Get a list of all of our channels. You can go to ivmpodcast.com slash YouTube where you can go to all the channels. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsors this week, SBI Life Insurance, Bank of Baroda, Max Life Insurance, India Water Portal, and HDFC Life Insurance. Thank you so much for making this possible something different right now right all right uh, i think we're back 
and I don't know if you can hear the tempers are going no, under no, control. No, not tempers. No, not ours. Just the ah, okay. people outside who are working on <laughs> architecture and interior designing. Yeah. Not my favorite subject. In the meantime, let's hope the audio has got better. I oh, can you please turn the light on, Amit and Kavita, slightly towards Amit? Oh, sorry, that's that's an internal <laughs> message. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Imagine seven years as a host and still the worst. I think clearly I'm the worst. They can't be. Oh, worse. you're reading the <laughs> private chat. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it's a chat about. And with my bad eyesight. Okay, Silvery, yes. you you were saying uh, we interrupted you and went into a quick break. Sorry. No, no, I was talking about uh, so how when we started out when IBM started out, how were you guys uh, like getting funded? How how did you get secure funds? How did, did you get investors? Uh, involved, no, like? so we got we got a couple of we got one early investor. A oh, yeah? good friend of mine uh, decided that uh, he thought it was worth putting in. He, he was keen to kind of like you know work with me on something, and so there's a very good friend of mine who, uh, yeah, he put in money initially. So did he have to go around to VCs and like try to? So uh, the thing is that uh, the thing about podcasting, in some ways, the way I envision it, it's not as VC fundable a business as some others are, right? Because we are uh, one of the things we do is we are available on all apps, mm. which turns us into a content business rather than tech business. Most VCs are primarily looking at con- at tech businesses. For my age group, VC is the Victoria. Cr- because those guys <laughs> fought in the war, yeah, them, them. so you can <laughs> confuse them. But uh, I think what he's not saying is that it was very challenging because people promised uh, to come in, didn't come in, or didn't live up to the whatever they said they would pay at whatever time. Mm-hmm. So all the crap that was hitting the fan, and he, uh, expenses were mounting. Yep. Uh, my big bill to begin with, uh, <laughs> which of course wasn't that serious, but there were other issues which had to make payments on uh, yeah, uh, yeah. staff, etc., the facilities, etc. Sure. And so the, it was it was really scary because uh, people were li- li- you know going back on their word or yeah. just not taking phone calls. No, and so there were issues, right? I mean, there are definitely issues. Also, one of the fucked up things in media, right, just generally is... Uh, even when people owe you money, they pay you whenever the hell they want to. Mm. Yeah. Right? Like, I mean, uh, advertisers... I, b- I believe the, oh. the the way to find out is if you call up and the person doesn't pick up the phone the very first time, yeah. you know you're in trouble. Yeah. If there's a money dispute yeah. of any kind. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. Because that, that that just, you know, I, I, I wish people would just get to the point and say, look, I need time. But just to get that conversation, it takes about 15 phone calls and Amit and me standing outside his house. Outside and saying, his house, yeah. Uh, I'll shoot adult <laughs> films of you and this girl. Oh, really? there, there was no girl. <laughs> Please, this is Happy Women's Day, by the way, and you should never shoot adult films. Uh, yeah. In between, if you want to talk about Women's Day, you can, huh? because we should just do it some. Just in case, just okay, okay. like whenever yeah. else you want to smile. I've just been reminded we have comment. 20% female okay, viewership. Okay, everyone, keep quick. That. Uh, uh, one line about Women's Day. No, yeah. no, no, this is a joke. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so, uh, you, you were getting funded. That's how you're getting funded. Yeah. How did you guys start hiring? Like, what do you guys, what roles were you hiring for, and how do you assemble your so, hiring philosophies? Uh, Okay, so we were, I was just trying to figure out what to do here, right? So yeah. I think the first person who came on was a woman named uh, Chavi Sachdev. Right. Uh, yeah. She was with us for a very few time, uh, for a very short period of time. A month. A uh, little longer than that, but not oh. much. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, so and then after that, uh, while we were working with Chavi, uh, or while I was working with Chavi, she introduced me to May, who we did a show with right. Made in India. And uh, while I was talking to May, I thought she would be a great addition. And then May introduced me to Kavita, and uh, they just joined very early on. I think they just joined before I think uh, yeah. May did. They just is our uh, head of production. Also, right. for the longest time, he right. handled all of. He doesn't the tech work side, in, sound side. in the morning. He does massages and stuff. But <laughs> after lunch, he's here, <laughs> he's and then he doesn't yeah. go home. Yeah. 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 So he's yeah, one he of the stalwarts. He's, 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 yeah, he's been around forever. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a founding father almost. In many ways, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like honestly, he's looked. At uh, he's done more audio production than yeah. probably because yeah. I mean, he's also a phlegmatic personality who doesn't have much emotion or give back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like if somebody else says you had a great show, <laughs> suppose you had some big name on or whatever. He could have been a serial killer, killer and you would He brings down your ego yeah. very quickly. I like that. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you need Absolutely. people like that. But around. he's always you're calm, nobody man. to him. Nothing rattles him. But but he's that's always the Buddhist philosophy. You know, there is no yeah. ego, so yeah. you're nothing to him. Everything yeah. is nothing. You know, nothing. Is <laughs> 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 Everything is nothing. You yeah. should make that T-shirt for him. That is a good T-shirt. Yeah. Yes. So I like that about him. He stands out. His personalities go. Yeah. Then again, you have the insincere, trying to be very over friendly with you kind of thingy, which is terrible. That's and the over respecting adults and elder people. I, I hate the G, right? The, the G. G. The G. Uh, Cyrus G. Look, look <laughs> on, my, <laughs> on this side. First two months was a nightmare with this guy. <laughs> yeah, was he a Cyrus? I was begging. No, I wasn't. Insult me, insult. No, he, but he, he has a certain reverence with the older people. How Mr. to take Rocha. that? 
Well, not that Mr. Brosa, but he would not take. A, he would not come back with anything. Although he's a funny guy and a witty guy, he would not say anything back. He would just. I'm like, why are you treating me with this wrong? It's irreverence. Like, sorry, reverence. Yeah, it's irreverence. Right, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all changed now. He's horrible now. But luckily, I think we now get so many people on the show. We're always having three or four. So there's always somebody getting it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a boys' awesome. club. In fact, it's reached a point where now where we were getting. Too serious, we now become too flippant. As usual, we can't do anything yeah, correctly. Yeah, yeah. No, but the balance is key. I, I think flippant is better, right? Yeah. I think. Oh, flippant, you're telling me. Yeah, yeah, no. I think flippant yeah. is more uh, yeah, yeah. interesting. We don't have a choice. Have you met Shreyas? <laughs> <laughs> For him, a threesome is dolphin, him and a girl, and only the dolphin and him are in the water at any time together. There's nothing to do with the girl. The girl is just watching. You know. I'm actually enjoying this new like. Yeah, cock and loving ball. it. It's Shreyas was uh, hilarious many, yesterday. I don't know if you guys listened to the show. Oh. He took off. I, I, you know how I do little police bashing, oh. but it's you know it's all tongue in cheek really. <laughs> he went on a rant with such rage. We all yeah. caught off guard. <laughs> They are toxic, fascists. Kill them all. Evil oh. people. We just went berserk. Right. And then uh, Abhijit Gangli, me and uh, Silvia looking at each other like. Uh, <laughs> <that> just, <laughs> Where did yeah, they come from? Huge gangs. Someone needs to offer him like a drink they, on the side. Wait, wait, Kavita. His looking. point is, you don't know how they treated me. I'm thinking, really? <laughs> what could they have done? <laughs> you know. So why was he so pissed? I don't know. Maybe. maybe you know, Westernized yes, Indian boys have bad sure. times with uh, as they grow up. We've discussed this, you know. What I mean, but it's not it's not exactly like fleeing uh, Ukraine from Russian invasion or something. It's just you uh, know yeah. some bad moments, right? Which irritate you a little bit, but he's a lot of angst. Uh, uh, there are people who are pissed off. You're pissed off at cops. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed I, off. I mean, like uh, you're 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 the chairs. Uh, I brought up the chairs yesterday. Okay. I mean, the chairs are driving me mad. I was Which showing chairs? my daughter while driving back yesterday. Which chairs? Which chairs? Everywhere in South Bombay, these police guys have chairs. Yes, they these do. plastic yeah. friggin' chairs. Yes, they it's do. like that's the their job is only to stand. When the VIP comes, hold us back, and then they're all over the place. I was they're lounging in chairs, and they're like kids. It's like HR college for me, yeah. except they're wearing uniforms. They're all looking at each other's phone. They're laughing. They're women cops. Many of them. So the flirting is going on. All the nonsense is going on. Not flirting is not nonsense, but I'm saying you're a police person. Flirt after six or whatever. <laughs> Shift ke baad. But the cops also have to sit. No. Somewhere. Wait, Kavita, they're lounging on the road. Either they eat up the okay. pavement so you can't walk. Then yeah. they come on the road. Uh, there, it, there Marine are, drive. They yeah. put a tent up, as he mentioned, yeah. Yeah. which covers half the road, and then they've got chairs on both yeah. sides. It's called what a permanent. Nah, I heard this, yeah. Yeah. Which is an uh, but even if you so look, it means nothing, right? A nakabandi is just supposed, supposed to, to like temporary. funnel you and slow you down. Yeah, and it's ridiculous. Well, okay. they, uh, at Chopati, where the corner is, where you turn onto hmm. Ankeshwar, hmm. there are literally ten cops sitting over there. That on, corner he speaks about? of, yeah. it's like a, it's a terrible place to, yeah. and they have a jeep there, and they have another jeep there, and they just hold up half the lane. Hmm. So oh. for us to this turn, is the is road like to the mantrale and like all of that, right? Like I mean, this like no, we're going that way is mantrale, but this is way to the Varsha. Where the to chief minister, oh, our okay, present chief minister, doesn't even live there because yeah, he likes correct. to live at home. Hmm. But he comes there twice a day and all that causes up traffic up. jams. Uh, it's also hmm. uh, that that junction itself is really kind of fucked up in a couple of ways hmm. because there are people trying to take U turns to go into small lanes. Yeah. Right? Oh, damn. So you're taking U turns when you come onto Valkesh Road. You want to take an immediate U turn to hmm. go behind Babulnath. If you are at the signal coming from Babulnath, you want to take a U turn over there. There are just too many of these. It's small a junction. Lanes. But the, but the thing is that if you think Valkesh Road sucks, which is where the rich live, what hope is there for Mumbai? Yeah. I, I mean, just look look down the road now. No, <laughs> it's uh, dude. I mean, like traffic. Has it's awful. It's, it's awful. It's awful, yeah. God. Also, like the city is dug up. So, so Shreyas, you rock. <laughs> 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 we got to tell the truth. But I'm just thinking. So they have the chairs there. Let's uh. take it a little further. What's next now? They get waiters and they're taking their food orders. What's happening? Zomato well, delivery guys stopping. Not allowed to have food. No, no, no outside no containers. No outside. Yeah, correct. Oh, we'll see. Is, that, is that the story we never spoke about? No, no, or did we, we speak did, about we it? We did, we did, we did. We did at some point. But that was okay. one guy's right. mandate. That guy may not be there, ah. and it's over. No, I remember Antrik had this story. He was yeah. bringing up for like seven episodes. Yeah, we know. The Pawai millionaire has many businesses. One of them is delivery. So yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Cops can't order my food. Where did the cars come from? Yeah. Maybe he can drive out one of his cars, and then and then we discussed. Kavita, we discussed Sanjay Pandey, the commissioner, talking about. He talks to people on Facebook now. Okay. Oh, this is the new commission. Yeah, he decided not to tow cars. I don't know. If yeah, he said I'll go for so a week. I won't tow cars. I won't tow cars for a week. Let's see how that works. It's going to work okay. horribly. Yeah, I. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking now they I do no work. They're sitting <laughs> on chairs. Now they're not even towing cars. <laughs> so what can can they help with the dog? I, 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 I don't want to walk the dog all the time. Can I, they help with something? I'm just trying to understand the logic behind not towing cars. I we need more towing so to happen. So his point is, is I'm less olive tolerance. branch. We won't do this, and you will be civic. Ha! Oh. Mumbai comes in civic. Okay. Start double parking with impunity. Seen outside basically. nab, blind people being run over. You Ouch. know. Oh. Yeah, that's the uh, Mumbai car sensitivity. I got to tell you honestly, it's like what the hell? You can't see. Ha! Ji, you can't see. So the high speed, wally safe face cars that on are just like clipping. On Women's Day, we've gone for a joke against people visually impaired and females and cops. And I mean, uh, do we have a disclaimer? 
for what that we don't know what we're saying and we maybe I, I, I think it. there is something no in I the start yeah kripya dhyan dijiye yeah, this yeah. Uh, that the, really the doesn't podcast. sound like high court will accept that. <laughs> 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 i'm wondering <laughs> whether my lawyer is okay with that <laughs> and a bad hindi from brocha ah kripya dhyan dijiye last and final call <laughs> what do they do that in the announcements in the airports uh-huh. no no they they're silent airports no, no nothing no, nobody but, but i i think Yes, then final call. Yeah. I'm like suddenly I'm going to get a massage from a really hot lady. Have I'm you ever gotten a personal call? That, even huh? if you're like Have you ever gotten a personal like uh, oh, announcement? Cyrus That's Brocha, please oh. report for I've your me. I've gotten one once. But the yeah? colleague, yeah, you tell us. Uh, no, so this was when I was uh, coming back, uh, going back to the US from India uh, in college. And uh, I went to the airport for the flight, not exactly uh, sober. And I fell asleep. uh wow. at the like you know like wh- while waiting you're waiting area. while mm. we're waiting and uh yeah i just i they, they had to call no, but, my name out but but he's right the thing is but you woke up did no, they wake I you up i, I, yeah. I, I woke up, know, I listen, up there. this is the point okay I, i'm sure you've got stories mm. it's not such a big deal because generally 90% of the time is actually something trivial like that mm. Mm. So that's all it mm. is yeah. but when you hear the name everybody has that look on their yeah. face like right. who the f are you yeah. and also because then you'll start moving quicker you, than everybody yeah. else like oh that's so the I guy had, <laughs> i had a colleague and we were traveling together and he was called up i don't know there's some problem with the ticket they're over subscribed tickets or something so we were all on time sitting there everything but that 2 minutes people are staring at you and then you just feel really yeah, small because you're like that and you feel guilty you right? don't know what you've done have yeah. you ever like you've like, been like the last person to board a flight and that flight's oh, already man. been on the runway for yeah. maybe like 10 minutes only or once, whatever only once like, no i yeah, actually stares at you that's yeah, like you so like, get a clap no idea why i'm clapping here. also and <laughs> 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 the, 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 the late promote the, the late promote nawal kar held up a pune flight uh-huh. and he was minister then shivsena was in power he clearly it was him because he and two guys came in you know 10 minutes later and we all started clapping somebody started it we all started clapping <laughs> so but, but flight to pune or flight from pune uh, to pune Oh, that's twenty minutes. So clearly, thirty I mean, minutes. Uh, one three. One three. Yeah. Damn. So everybody was there waiting. Uh, yeah. you, you know, come on. You know when everything's ready. And the, in fact, maybe they had said we're waiting for a passenger to board or whatever. And and you know, <laughs> we once don't know it's which a passenger. Yeah. The passenger. But there's the other ship. Seeing a guy who slapped somebody. Remember two years. Yeah, back? yeah. With a uh-huh. chappal, no. Took out What? the chappal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First, like he business uh, class uh, in chappals. Oh, yeah, My mom says, how can you go business class in chappals? Is it not me? That's the issue she got out of it. I wear sandals when I fly most often. I think track pants is the best way for long flights because for men. I'm saying oh. because you know you feel uncomfortable all over there and you want to pee and this and that. It's at leisure. Uh, it is. Track yeah. pants. I mean, when you charge two lakhs for a bloody seat from here to Dubai or whatever, I you agree. let me go naked. Yeah. I mean, really. <laughs> I just put the belt on. That's what I'm doing. Seat belt, I'll keep on, yeah. ma'am. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> two lakhs, may you avoid the your case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's your responsibility. Your dirty thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, another okay. fantasy of <laughs> us traveling naked. <laughs> me and Silvery have already visualized. <laughs> they're all happy to see us. Yeah. Ah, welcome to Quant. By the way, Quantus. Um, you know, uh, rumor has it. I better be careful what I say, <laughs> but. Uh, Let's say uh, same gender uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, okay. gay couple. Like what? Yeah, that's the. That's fine. You can say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> say that. I don't know. But I don't know what I you're what you're saying. saying. Some of the some of the airlines have a very strong uh, sort of non-heterosexual huh. lineage huh. in service. And okay. okay. Yeah, and that can be quite uh, stereotypes are strange. You get a really muscle-bound guy with a slightly mm. limper wrist right. coming and saying, "Welcome to Qantas." Uh, what can I get here? I, I think and that's a uh, stereotype around uh, all is it? flight uh, male flight. No, 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 uh, no. no. I, I think it's certain airline crew. Really? My okay. God, what are you saying? You were the same guy. Now you're also saying all these. I, I said things. it's a stereotype. I'm not by, saying by others. Yeah, never it's you. It's a stereotype. It's yeah, not what enough. I'm saying. In fact, every, all the views here are not our own. Remember, we <laughs> borrow views and come in. What is the chat saying? And please tell me this is not. Oh, it's still our internal chat. Yeah. yeah. No, basically okay. everybody is seconding your track pants idea. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, track pants. Is, why do people not wear tracks for long flights because you got to sit everywhere That's and true. you really I totally agree. That in a hand yeah. towel I've always found very handy for some reason. A hand towel. You drop things, you never know when you need a towel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you yeah, try and get a towel sense. when you need it. You mm. go eat in yeah. a Kentucky fried chicken or whatever, it's all over oh, your yeah. face and there's no bloody thing inside. The toilets in India They do it for fitness. Huh. They keep the toilet at one end of the airport, and then that's not working. Once you reach it, it's being <laughs> renovated. Go up. It's like that. Yeah. Man, I should, they should let us be in ashtrays. Sometimes I, really, I look at an ashtray and think, well, I'm just be in the ashtray. It's anyway just all ash. Like if you're traveling yeah. economy, yeah, uh, the ashtrays have this big hole on the side. Yeah, you can just be. Huh. Without anyone seeing you. But, But just no, like you can't find you, small, you can't find. How, how little are you no, being? No, it's a big hole on the side. The hole is the size of your hand. Oh, really? So you you hold it. 
and you pee and uh, maybe if you have a colleague or whatever they whistle next to you <laughs> or sing a song sing a song what a distraction or do <laughs> look what kind, of, what kind of guy hello i'm saxena i would like to see you urinate i mean who who does that i want some entertainment uh, you vijay vijay come on show me <laughs> hope not I do you have like a particular seat that you ask for i always take the aisle because i like the Yeah. Not the ex- ex- emergency you exit seat. Sit in no, no, no. Like exit exit. 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 Also, when you want to pee on a long flight, yeah, Kavita, you, it's a little embarrassing. You when you're younger than the older guys, there, I'm talking about the yeah, old days, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you want to pee twice or thrice. We, I have to keep asking the guy to move his leg and all that. Yeah, oh, that, that's sad. a terrible thing, no? Yeah. The communication. No, also, I I like the aisle just because I can keep my hand. One outside. one arm out. Yeah. I, otherwise, but yeah. I always touch the buttocks of uh, one of the people passing. But that's because it's buttock line. <laughs> but I mean, what and then some? they look at some yeah, of the. If it's a pretty exactly girl, she looks that. at you like uh, you're a creep. And if it's an ugly man, it's like very good. No, but if somebody what is, the hell? if somebody is coming in front, of, if so, if you can see the person coming, then you move to the you side. Can, you're can, watching something. You're reading back. something. I mean, come yeah, on. You can't. But sometimes you're you're switched off the aisle, right? I did. I mean, like yeah. So then it happens. If the fault is the airline because they make these planes so small that some of the fatter stewards and all they have to go sideways. There's just no space. Which is what I thought when you came to this new. Office and we looked at this door and your new like shoulder size has, like, size has to walk sideways into it because there's no way you can walk straight in. Nah, like you know that. the uh, poor Bappi Da who died just now. I don't tell this story because it's really wrong. And I say this with a lot of affection. You've said it before. I've I, heard I, this and you've you said it before. First interview, George restaurant. He got stuck in the entrance. In the yeah, there's a side entrance. The main he came from the side entrance. And I, you know, I, that's not a that's a difficult one. because we have to literally But physically put it that's like a personal gauge right i know if i'm walking into like something and i'm if i'm not going to be able to kabhi the way will you get I stuck am. No, I'm uh, just like yesterday. I remember Hira, our social media uh, manager, tried to was, uh, walking, was behind walking behind Amit, right? And Amit was like, "Oh, let me like move my chair and all." And she like, "No, I'll just fit." She's really that little, right? Mm. She just like, like just she basically stuck walked around the window into, and like, just came yeah, around. Yeah. Just came around. Hira, I met her. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's really little, yeah. like so the way she, like she could just like fit in a crevice, right? I'm just saying, so you're aware <laughs> of like <laughs> those stereotypes are allowed. <laughs> <laughs> What about the this littleism? This yeah, little, littleism. Give me a question, huh? Question something against making fun of people who are small. That's really. Not right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's it. The so, show's over. No, no, no. Next is I want to ask. Uh, how do you guys decide on the previous office? Did you guys go together? How do you? Right. How do you know office. that was the office you wanted? So does everybody know that we actually started working at like the co-working space in Car Social? We were there for oh, yeah. a really and long time. And he used to eat. He used to eat at Social at all times. He yeah. still does. Yeah. I mean, uh, true, yeah. that's his. Yeah. Owned by your pal. No? Oh wait, you were buying not, not diet cokes from Social for every single day. Yeah, that and that's uh, man, I was drinking coffee. Seen. But okay, we were coffee. working out of there. No, I mean like okay, actually cool. it was a great deal because yeah. to be honest with you, I look deal. at it like that, right? It was five thousand rupees per seat per person uh, per month, the and day. they give you food credit for that. For that. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's so full great. five grand food credit. Five grand food credit. Yeah. Yeah. Damn good, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And so we were what? Ten of us. I'll move my whole office. Eight of us. Yeah. Why do you need an office? Why? Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean. I mean, in any case, they don't work in my office. They can just eat. Exactly. That's an amazing deal. No, no actually the thing coffee, is coffee tea this social you rock time. place to meet <laughs> lunch and uh, like riyas uh, amlani yeah riyas amlani parsi blood no that's why all the generosity <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful. no and then after that uh-huh. i think we also found this office and we were so glad that it's actually only like no, 100 Agnello meters house. away then we went to agnello house which yeah, is that's uh, the one yeah. that's the one i'm yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. so actually that was also 100 meters away yeah, from kharso yeah. yeah. right yeah. so all I office like parties i know house is like where my cousins live because the mechanic downstairs i can't remember his name peter uncle hey bro what are you doing man come here come here come here Oh my god. Like doing like one things <laughs> every day, na. This is the Christian community for friendliness. You know, <laughs> if you're having like a bad day, you got to be very careful. Absolutely. No, but yeah. he was like the suburban rant. Like it's yeah. just like, "Oh, Cyrus, let me just yeah, now yeah. tell you like what no, is no, like causing like" No, no, he's taking like, on the BJP, you know. I've had long conversations with him, you know. <laughs> yeah. Killing time. Stigger was fun. Yeah, yeah. Stigger was all that. <laughs> but uh it was uh, interesting in the sense that at that time we were we had a decision to make, right? Mm. Uh we looked at this office which we loved, but then this office is like bang in the middle of everything. Saw this office before? Yes, true. Uh, no, not this one. The one, the Agnello House. The Agnello House. Yeah. The Agnello House. We love that. You knew, office. you knew you wanted to be in car. So that's the that that was the choice to be made, right? Okay. At that point, the two finalists for office that we looked at, one was this one, which is in the middle of everything, Correct. right? Yeah. And the other one was inside Mandra Reclamation. Right, and it was like was inside, inside. Okay. Right, it was like so. It was so quiet, so this. It was like a kind of 
uh, it was a it, it was just a really really quiet space. But then finally, I think we were like, nah, let's be where everything is. No, actually, that really helped, right? We but also remember, we have central. guests coming in from various shows. Yeah. yeah. So you want to have a location where people are like normal Easy to sounding. Find. Yeah. If you say yeah. fountain, for example, nobody wants to come. Yeah. And if you say somewhere deep in Goringa, also where you know they don't want to come. Yeah. So I think car, everybody's happy to come to so, Bandra car. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. But this was like uh, the reason for the other, the reason why the other one was tempting also a little bit, right? Was it was it would have been yeah, twenty bigger. minutes closer for both of us, but not in the going back traffic because BKC has been a nightmare for well, me. That is true. And you would be going back at seven thirty eight. That horrible time like that. That is true. Well, no, this is not BKC. Where does Kavita live? Kavita Juhu. lives in Juhu. Juhu. So yeah. ten minutes from here. Yeah. yeah. So I've always been ten minutes. Wow. Actually. So it's all done for your benefit. Completely. He's a South Bombay boy. The great thing I stayed in MTV because MTV was run by South Bombay people uh-huh. for the first ten years. Right. And, and so that's why that Tardeo address made. We went Tardeo, then we went Parel. So it was all okay. I could self drive. I could park everything. And then they moved but on. Parel Andy, office also was like. Quite iconic, right? It was like lovely. It was always parking. I could park. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In fact, we used to do uh, do jokes and ice. Kurubela because the secu- uh, security would change all the time. We would tell them that the car. No, those three uh, offices. I think what you had. Uh, you Leo Bonnet. Leo Bonnet. You had grey. Grey. Yeah, you had grey oh. and you so had. So I have cricket uh, matches. We never lost. <laughs> yeah, no, and that MTV office was quite. Uh, I mean, it Where was, was quite it special. Where was it exactly? I remember. It was so behind ITC the ITC. Oh yeah. In that same lane. Oh, inside there. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Between Dog Hospital and ITC, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. And they never got me food from ITC. So cheap. W- wasn't MTC? Uh, sorry, wasn't the MTU office at Tarde at some point? First, uh, First. in um, uh, Everest building. Okay, Tarde. yeah, Everest. Yeah, AC no, market. No, it was not in Everest. Yes, Baba. <coughs> was in Velocity because I was in Everest. Velocity. Is, Velocity. It's the same thing. No, Velocity, Velocity is on the second is floor. Uh, film center. Film center. Yeah. Film center. Because it, I was. Sorry, sorry, I worked at Radio center, Midday. Everest which was at PMG. Is. Just PMG. Yes. Only fourteen years. So Neil Gavaskar's yes. office. Sorry, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So film center huh. and uh, so we had velocity on the second floor, right? Yeah. right. So we did a lot of events. That's perfect, there. right? Like you all just must have been hopping offices and then just straight to party but wait, but, but, and straight back. But in back, case they charge us in velocity, we drink in a bar opposite. It's very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Lots of tar there, bars are there. Yes. Lovely in those days, all open all night yeah. and all. Like yeah. great, and, you know. Forty-five bucks a vodka, bro. <laughs> and then days. give you chakna. It's like, like uh, no, everything. everything <laughs> right? And for us, we were privileged customers. Huh? We were one class above. Mm. So once we come in and all that, we were treated like gods. Yeah. Always stay in a also small pond like and be the crocodile. People. That's what I think. <laughs> 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 That's <a> good advice. <laughs> yes. So uh, after that, then uh, how do you guys? So you got the, the new office. You got uh, funded. All, all that, right? How do you guys figure out your first few hosts and knew which podcast you want to start in well, the beginning? That's interesting. Uh, the factory never stopped. Even in the bad days when yeah. things were going all over the place, yeah. the production never stopped. No, no, no. never, never. You kept no. trying different people and different yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All yeah. kinds of concepts. I, I think the first one was Cyrus, right? Yeah. I made in India, yeah. and uh, then after that we did that Savan deal, right? Uh, where we were doing all of that content for Savan. For a while. What about Anupam Gupta and Pesa Anupam Pesa? started after Savan. After Savan. Yeah. So, so what? That Savan. I remember that thing. It was there was Cyrus' show. There was Ayaz. So there were seven shows uh, that Ayaz. we had done for Cyrus. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Sa- Cyrus, Ayaz, uh, the uh, Left Arm Orthodox. We did a small show. Yeah. Yeah. The Left Arm Orthodox. Yeah. Then there was who else was there? Uh, Geek Fruit guys. They started yeah. back then. Right. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Uh, there were quite a few. Don't make me think, man. We did that show, Eat, Sleep, Joke, Repeat. Right. Uh, which was like, you know, the joke competition type show. Right. And uh, I'm missing, uh, Made in India. Seven. Made in India, yeah. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. seven shows we gave to Savan. And then uh, when we decided that we wanted to... There was some confusion because they called Savan, we gave them seven. Oh. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, some mistake there. Yeah, yeah but... Uh, that uh, was 2016. That yeah. was 2016. And towards the end of that, when we decided we didn't want to renew, that's when we started yeah. kicking up a uh, uh, bunch of We went stuff. for one of these podcast events uh, to promote uh, yeah, podcast community. Yeah, yeah. And I think Amit gave a speech there. And I also spoke there. And it was uh, almost like At chalk and cheese. Yeah, it was <laughs> Yeah. We were, uh, who else was there? Nilesh Mishra was on the stage with us. Oh, yes. And I feel like there was one more person. I can't remember who that was. Yeah. I was just trying to figure out what to take back for the ride. There's Cyrus, Amit, Nilesh and Ayaz, I think, on the... Was Ayaz? No, Ayaz yeah. was in the audience. I don't think he was there. No, he was there, actually. Because he was, was actually t- yeah. technically like... If Ayaz was there, cricket show on he'd the be wearing oh. a waistcoat. Ayaz, Ayaz <laughs> always. Always in a waistcoat. Always, always, Except always. Except in the best. Ali Baghi shirtless, but otherwise <laughs> waistcoat, waistcoat, waistcoat. <laughs> yeah. It's another world altogether. I come from the waistcoat world. Alec Padamsi, one of the doyens of advertising mm-hmm. come theatre, always in the bloody waistcoat. waistcoat. Mm-hmm. Now you see that in like stewards in restaurants, you know, some of that move there. Right. Of course, this guy's a fine one to talk about of fashion. Where yeah, yeah. Looking, you know. Dude, what is that? It's, uh, it's a double-sized jacket. Uh, I'm wearing no, the wrong size. He's <laughs> the print, but dude. I mean, like, seriously, so I saw that. Like, huh? like, I mean, yeah, yeah. I get it. But, yeah. like, it's just. He's auditioning for the role of a gay fireman in a br- 
brand new film okay. uh, Meera Nair no, I got it <laughs> yeah yeah just I showed up with this and they were like that's the no, I mean like it's his dad's <laughs> jacket right clearly it it's like jacket. what are you insinuating yeah, yeah, yeah. Kavita 70s it is or 80s what, what the hell are you I saying I just said <laughs> some what the hell uh, my dad has a different jacket for each of our cars your mom listens to the show your mom listens to the show Uh, okay so uh, okay this is, might be a trivial question but uh, uh, our ivm coffee gets a, a very good uh, has a very good name in the whatever the it should have its own here. podcast yeah basically <laughs> okay. uh, because a lot of hosts are talked about it mention it uh, how great i know ashton has on his show also uh, the habit coach Uh, so what did you try different coffees how do you know that was a coffee sure, that was like the one thing we it's, got right like i think we didn't do it's uh, important to many other things yeah. we it had a really tiny way. kitchenette fantastic yeah. and then that coffee, coffee just wafting so I, i think you know what it is i think I, and i'm going to be like straight <laughs> about this right is the fact that we're not serving people that machine crap Okay. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. much it. Right? The machine it's, crap is free. They give you to promote it's their not, machine. No, no, they don't That's give you. That's also diabetes. It's fucking expensive. Yeah, and it's diabetes in a cup, as you say. Yeah. Why? Why would you it's say? Just the amount of sugar. It's a sugar it's shot. It's half sugar, yeah. Or is this really come and just from having sugar? Don't worry. Also, we do drip coffee, right? And I think yeah. that that has like you know that it's just good. It just, it just tastes better than like this. We had slate coffee on. Okay. We could get yeah. a deal with them. They we put them on and promote. They call yeah. me every day. So can we get you coffee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, and then you have to tell them no. I don't do any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but others do. So we keep a slate employee here with coffee, and you know it becomes like a dispenser. Just selling. Yeah, totally. With, with I packets. think I've like told that to sales. I mean, not just slate. I think oh. we worked with other coffee brands as well. There are a few like, more that are. But eventually, I think we're going to have like an IVM house coffee. blend. Coffee. Yeah, that'll be great. What happens <laughs> really? If one of your big double line, one of your big sponsors is is a brand, uh-huh. then you have to stick with that brand because that'll be wrong no. then for you to have a. a uh, I, listen, guys. I, I, I again, it's about the process of making the. coffee that makes the coffee good uh the as long fine. as you're not getting absolute so crap coffee loyalty. what you're saying is That's different so i have loyalty to a lot of different brands yeah but look at uh, shahrukh khan for example uh-huh. i bring this up with due respect i mean he was pepsi's brand ambassador for 40 years now he's doing thumbs up right i mean that's like you know who cares for all loyalty I mean, now one is a like coke product one is a pepsi product it's like that sure i uh, yeah but so what I'm on the phone with him. The he life needs, and times of an endorser. He needs a lawyer, a cheap one. <laughs> 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 yeah, it doesn't matter though, right? I mean, like, I mean, like, in the in the end Let's of it. Let's just be open. We, we, if you pay money, we'll just do what we'll you do say. We'll do whatever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, this we'll, is the oldest profession in the world. We, podcast. <laughs> 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 there, there's no, uh, there, there's no loyalty in the sense that oh, we must do this like this. And but again, it's a bit. We see how a connoisseur. All three of you are. Uh-huh. So here's the problem. You actually like this coffee. Speaking about it because lots of people like the coffee yeah. and mm-hmm. taste. Like, you know, to say we got to get rid of this coffee because let's say nest cafe is sponsoring right. us because i don't know brands and then what do you do because they've got dispensers here and whatever and you'll be careful because you're doing programs it's got to be a lot of money enough money that i can order out without worry <laughs> <laughs> you be very careful you're drinking glasses <laughs> like dry days they give us those goblets and all that <laughs> but they do that no i mean like on a bunch of different shows they do that right where they'll give you that's why the hosts always have cups. have cups so exactly. people can drink whatever in case the beverage sponsor somebody yeah. else you can okay. drink whatever yeah. and you yeah. never know unless you do a urine test which i think should be compulsory in podcast you know what the hosts are on engineers also I mean, <laughs> <laughs> why is it that the sound industry, uh, for the last twenty, thirty years that I've been in it, they have no interest in the creative person? Uh, the sort of like, gri- like you know, they, they come and mic you up. They never really listen to you beyond chak chak chak. After that, you can say what you want, even if you're speaking in Hindi or whatever <laughs> language is more comfortable. They're just not interested. Nobody's paying attention. Have you ever had a hot mic moment? Just not you, Cyrus. Don't yeah. feel bad about. No, that. they switch off the moment you start. There's a either it's respect or disrespect. Maybe that's they're something just, to say about the you. The moment you say action and we take over, they're gone. <laughs> They're, they're done, right? My job they're is done. They're absolutely done. They're as long as like, the yeah. feed is fine and yeah. like we're recording high quality yeah. audio. Have you ever had like a hot mic moment where the mic was on, you didn't realize, and you said something that you want? I don't know. But one of the female VJs went to pee, and we kept it on, and the, and was on on the PA, and we heard it, and then everybody started giggling. And by the time he, you know, put the PA off, about fifteen twenty seconds had passed, oh, right. and that was horrendous. Oh, poor thing. For yeah. me, I always tell them when I'm going to pee. I just did an event where the mic was on, so in between the ten minute break, I went. I said, I'm going to pee, so it's your call. Now. Okay, so you want to listen? <laughs> you listen? I, I, I don't care. You know, I really don't care. But don't put it on me because you know that's your thing. Because they're so bored. You're right. They think yeah. of these things yeah. like, ah, we'll do it. But with the female unity, this is on another level of you know, yeah. the guys, the creepiness of the guy. With the, yeah, with the guy, you know, he's not that motivated. He actually puts it off. Why spoil an already bad day? <laughs> Listening to brochures, uh, sputtering urine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm giving you the sound effect. That's comedy at its best. <laughs> so we learn from here. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up though. Yeah. Oh, and we've had lots of ho- uh, producers. We, we had. Uh, we had, we had a girl also whose name I can't remember. Malika. Mali. Mali. That's yeah. right. That's right. 
she was on one of your episodes. Yeah, she was. Nah, on I think celebrating seven hundred, seven hundred, three, four, yeah. yeah. Cock and bulls also. Well, not not too many. I think uh, because Ma- when Mali was the producer that time, we were very kind of. We were once a week, I think. We were once a week, mm-hmm. and we were only doing guests, and we were la- the, the cock and bull happened because. Uh, the guests didn't turn up. Somebody didn't turn up, right? Yeah, I yeah. think it might have actually been Riaz Amlani who didn't turn up. Riaz, thank <laughs> wow. you for that. I'm thanking you for social. Yeah, I think it actually oh, might have been Riaz who didn't yeah, show up. Riyaz, I remember Riaz not showing up. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, not not showing up. He called up and said he wasn't coming. Yeah, well, uh, no, he didn't call up and say he, he didn't call up. His secretary, <laughs> uh, we called his secretary who said, "Oh, it's not on his calendar." Oh damn! Oh. Yeah. We still yeah. have those calendaring situations. And we just gave Riaz a big plug. <laughs> <laughs> we give Riaz the best big plug. plug yeah. Social. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I mean, like, listen. No, we can't take it back. Riaz has disrespected the Godfather. <laughs> hey, Frankie, <laughs> don't want you take Riaz outside. Make it look like an accident. <laughs> call me up later. Huh? The, the, it should, me this should happen. It's not the biggest deal. I think. Uh, <laughs> now you say that seven years later. Oh, oh okay. No, even back then, we had a few. We had a few listen, guests who dude, responded. If, if that, that girl who was uh, the fashion girl yes, was bad. She was yes. badly behaved because we took two hours to come from South Bombay. Yeah, remember that I, know, day? I remember, I remember that. the rains. I think he said he was in India. Yeah, two Tuesdays in a row, two year monsoon years in a row. On Tuesday, where I used to come on Tuesday, oh. we got screwed, and only Amit, me, and maybe you, or this three, four of us, had landed, landed up in the up. thing. Huh. We coming from the other end of the earth, um, and this lady who came from very close by, she just crossed the road and waited there, not realizing. I mean, it was a deluge. There was no way. Everybody, Bombay, come to stand still, yeah. mm. and she just got angry and left. And then didn't oh want to damn. come back again. Yeah, it was uh, it was really insensitive. Yeah. I felt yeah. it was it, it was uh, it was a weird situation for sure. Yeah, uh, but mostly I mean like mostly we've had get. But again, if Riaz and again I'm not sure if it was Riaz or it was somebody. But else. now it's too late. We've bad mouthed Riaz sure. and good mouthed him. We've but even out the score. That, I can't that, do that's anything. the genesis of your cock and bull episode, right? Where yeah. where somebody didn't show up and yeah. then uh, we decided, oh, we don't have anything. The I remember the first time we did it. Basically, somebody didn't show up, and that time you interviewed me. Correct. Right, because somebody didn't show up, and we had already. Oh, we have a second half of the AMA, so we sort of. No, 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 this was a, there's an uh, there's like uh, episode 14, 15, 16, somewhere between fifteen and twenty. There's an episode featuring Amit Doshi as guest, right? Mm-hmm. And that happened because somebody didn't so show like up. So like a sit-in, like oh, just. Yeah, it was just like there's somebody that we had the, we had booked the studio and we were still new, right? right. So so guys, go online and check out the Amit Doshi uh, and this stuff. Like, yeah, this was famous. We're still asking him the same questions. We had to pay for the studio whether we used it or not because. Later, the relationships became that you know it will pay when if we use it or stuff like that. But this was so early that it's like you block the time, you pay for the time. That's it. It doesn't matter whether you record or not, right? And so then we had the time, we had paid for it. So they were like, okay, let's uh, we'll we'll just record. And then we remember we recorded that time with me. But like most things in life, accidents work out the best. I think that's what my parents said about me. So you know, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) you're an accident. They told you this. Who would plan me? I thought you were adopted. And I wanted to come out early. Any, any, you know, like mom, why so long? (laughs) (laughs) I'm ready. (laughs) Uh, See, I've come twice out of three visits or four visits here. Twice I've been waiting outside, and and not not anybody's fault. No, because I come early. No, no, but I I got that changed. We'll talk about that. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, it's not a criticism. I'm just saying I'm proud of my. No, no, because even I come early to airports. My manager comes up. To me, I come early to events, to studios. Um, I've even gone to a place where it's not even open. We had the great David Polycarp at MTV once. We went to shoot something at 6 p.m. So I was there at 5.40 and they hadn't even opened the studio. 6 p.m. call time. This was, was locked from outside. But that's oh. not surprising. Yeah, that's MTV. MTV yeah. was a government job, yeah. Especially the producers, you know, they were really laid back, some of them. <laughs> they were like, we'll shoot two days instead of one. Who cares? We just never pay. This was when Alex was boss or this was when Cyrus was boss? <laughs> it's everybody's on staff. Cyrus, is, is Cyrus was always boss. He was promo head. Alex right. was above, above huh? uh, the hierarchy. Uh, so he's like, Cyrus was like you and uh, Amit was like Alex. But before hmm. that was, we had a, we had uh, Sunil Lula. I can't remember who was the boss. Sunil Lula. Hmm. Sunil Lula was the most popular hmm. because he was very good with people, man management hmm. and all hmm. that. Hmm. Of course, he had this horrible voice. A cross between Sachin and Amar Singh, <laughs> and a little more uh, rasping version of that. Hmm. But and he had these terrible socks. What is it with Cindy and socks? So you know, I thought it was a great fashion statement to have okay. these colorful socks. I used to wear a beautiful guy. Socks. We all loved him. So I used to wear these weird. Probably wearing like a really socks. boring jacket and they then were colorful like socks. Govindas designed these Dude, socks. Do you remember we did that? Uh, we did a brand. We did like very. Early yeah, you gave me three pairs. Guys. Yeah, I, I gave one pair away to somebody yeah. also. Yeah, yeah. I, think but, but I still have them. What motivates you, Cyrus, to be this early? No work. No work. <laughs> 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 going and pumping iron. Gotta keep it positive. <laughs> so pumping iron, I don't regret at all uh-huh. because I get the space to myself. It's very therapeutic. Most yeah, often, sure. I'm yeah. early. I open the thing. I put everything on, and I get a little time to myself. It's a good time. Your mind is clear because the moment socialization starts happening, you know you can't think then for yourself till the end of the day. Yeah. Till you get a cave to yourself again. What time do you train? 
So, I was like going earlier and earlier. I don't want to, because it's illegal to go earlier than the time that gates are supposed They've given you the keys now. Are you the official, like, yeah. gym owner? I think the watchman sees me and gets depressed. Like, oh, yeah. He's not playing. He's like, oh, not him. Why doesn't he get a job? You know, the, the blurbs that are playing in their head. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that you have the keys is pretty much like feeling I, like I you own the this gym. They, they right? have the keys, but hmm. we have a system now. Hmm. And there's one other guy who comes at 5 30 twice a week. But he doesn't really work out. He just sits around. He's not really in, into that. But he comes at 5 30. Why? What? Do you do at five thirty in a club? That's what. Morning. That's that's the reason I'm writing a book on urban Indians and wasting my time in the gym. I, I think the uh, the club culture is one of the most fascinating things that exists. In you know, India. the worst part is that it's a very elite culture, yeah. and that's the horrible part of it. <coughs> it's the same reason why it's there. Huh. Right. You know, I mean, we still have people who go, "Hey, you know." You know, they talk in this tone to the waiter and all. You know, Terrible. In the 21st century, how do you do that? I mean, how do you not know mm. to do that? I yeah. mean, I just, it's, so we had a guy today in the morning and he makes the guy pick up the, the dumbbells. He's a really angry old man who seems, retired men are a real problem, you know. <laughs> they just seem to be terrible people. <laughs> so he's like, oh, utau. I'm like, you're in the so gym. Like, he's telling him, oh, utau. So he picks up the dumbbells, the guy picks up the dumbbells and brings it to him. Small little pink dumbbells. The moment the dumbbells are coloured pink and I'm not trying to get any racism in here, start doubting your, your thing, you know, because this is like a masculine mm-hmm. process Colour stereotyping, okay. I but know, but you know, you got to be a little careful because, you know, this is designed to appeal to 40-year-old girls. So he has a personal trainer who, who lifts his 2kg dumbbells no, 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 for no. him. Everything. There are two trainers, uh, he doesn't pay them extra, but you know, he just treats them like, you do, you, anywhere in the world, you go to Australia, to a this gym or Bulgaria. Them, why don't you lift Kavita, them for they me? they will spit on him if he asks anybody anywhere sure. in the world who's working. In London, I I've trained there. You try to go there. You they won't talk to you. Hmm. You just mind your own business. You don't even yeah. want to spot someone. You just mind your own business, and you're fine. But you dare call someone and say anything. They just won't. But here, hey, and there's the tone. After that, he asks for water. The cooler is right where Amit is to me. A hey, glass, pani. He's pointing. Yes, this, this guy has issues. His but guy. he's not the only one. I would say 10-15% yeah. of our people are like that and they've just abused the system I, 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 which has to remodel itself a little bit, you know. This is not the Raj anymore. No, I, I find clubs really interesting, right, from a couple of perspectives. One is... Uh, so one is the land aspects of it, right? I mean, like the fact He's that... He's the enemy of clubs. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. I really like uh, his favorite... This is favorite, where he becomes leftist, <laughs> yeah. fully. Yeah. His favorite... Well, I mean, like it's not leftist. It's property rights. Your club doesn't get to fucking steal our property, right? And it's 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 state property. And basically, all of the major Bomb- South Bombay clubs do it for sure. Even the suburban, cl- suburban clubs do I mean, it, right? suburban clubs, me... What the hell? Yeah. Like, what Listen, you mean, I'm not from any like club property. Huh? He's saying yeah, the leases were written many years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Oh. You're taking public grounds and using them. Okay. They are still at technically all these public grounds we are allowed to use as public, yeah. including Wankhadi Stadium, yes. including CCI okay. Bhagwan yes. Stadium, yes. including Bombay Gym Khana. But they winning. respect. Uh, but they are able but to you restrict keep entry. Uh, it's yeah. a little, it's a little yeah. grey area yeah. where you can, uh, where the sports activity is going <laughs> on, you can keep the public out. Yeah. Organized sports. But organized sports actually doesn't happen that often. So yeah. you just keep the public out mostly all the time. Yeah. Correct. No, yeah. Nobody really knows the law. Also, the I, I mean, like Bombay Gym in particular. I was I'm sorry, just going I know to it's say. your clue, but they, I mean, like they are the worst, right? I mean, like they bitch about the fact that uh, land is being taken back for improvement projects. They steal parking lots by they, they steal sidewalks by lots. They took away parking. They took the the sidewalks. sidewalks. They, they take yeah. it back away. The, uh, thank we we God. park on the road and nobody walks on the sidewalk. Please tell your pedestrians. Uh-huh. <laughs> What's wrong with the morons? Every day I fight with a guy walking uh, by, by my door at 6 uh. in the morning. I'm like, boss, 25 free feet for you on that side. No one coming your way. They never walk on the pavement. That's a massive sidewalk. That yeah, they it's a massive stay. sidewalk. No, but and now the, we park on the road. But So they've taken the sidewalk back from you guys? Yes. I'm so Wait, happy. Yeah. It's your fault. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. <laughs> no, Every day I have words with some pedestrian. It used to piss me off because uh, honestly, the, the reason I started getting pissed off about it first was I would go to the club as guests of friends. So who are members, they, 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 they were relegated to, to like they just... Guest park. Yeah. They were like guest park. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. dude, this is a pain park or this is a. But now that's also changed. There's a valley once huh. the people come in. Huh. So they've done a valley system. Okay. I want to do that with my building. There's a one bachelor in the building who's retired and old. I said, why can't he park cars? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It gives him something to do. Otherwise, he's just badly behaved, right? So you park the car. And we'll give him a nice uniform with a bow tie or whatever, and waistcoat. Waistcoats are big. <laughs> <laughs> waistcoat, and you know, just give your key to him. You know, you come home tired. Is it? But but there are other clubs. It's not just Bombay Gym. Bombay Gym is one, right? I mean, like uh, Willingdon is. An, I I did just all of these South Bombay clubs piss me off. Even the one I'm a member in, which I'm not actually. I give my membership, so what? I'm not a member. W I. No, I was a member in uh, Garware Club, or I was. Which uh, is I was the one Wank- Wankhede Stadium. Yeah, I was a hmm. legacy member hmm. at Garware Club, but then I was like, I'm not spending money for hanging out over here. Hmm. That mm. just does not make sense to me. So, it all depends on the catering. 
How good is the food? I agree. Uh, you're 100% right. If it yeah. was CCI membership, I would have continued with it. Very I would good. have done it. CCI. NACI, huh? NACI food NACI is very good. NACI Fantastic. Now, yeah. after abu- yeah. 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 There you go. Family, and yeah. after abusing the clubs, you're all discussing what yeah. we yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, the, the thing, but so here's the other thing, right? The thing I, other thing I don't like about club is the special treatment that clubs get. Why are clubs allowed to serve alcohol on Fridays? But that is are true. They? But also, the subsidized yeah. drinking is amazing when like, the for rich a, get richer. For an atrocious rule, uh-huh. which makes no sense. The, the club members are not little guys. Club members are no, rich no, guys no. who are getting privileges because they are paying membership in these But with clubs. rich people are generally ugly. If you put them in a club, do other people don't have to see them. Uh-huh. Looking at that aesthetic point of view, sure. you keep all the ugly people in one place, give them alcohol and leave them alone. Sure. There's, a, there's a lot of deep thinking. So this country drinking. is built on deep Subsidized soch. drinking. What the fuck is that I about? Why, does, why do you live here Hello? in Hello? Malabar Hill? Hello, Hello. Kavita, you know how many crores you pay to get the membership? Then it should be subsidized after that, right? One one crore, 18 lakhs to become a member. And then you're worried about the fact that he didn't pay 250 bucks for the whiskey instead of 150 bucks. No, it's very like lifestyle. But I mean, like, it's not a, the subsidy is not coming because of... It's a non-profit organization. The subsidy is coming because they're taxed differently. They basically don't have the same amounts of taxes that other places do. It's a non-profit organization. Balls WIA is a non-profit organization. On paper, they're all (laughs) all non-profit organizations on paper. Bullshit, they're non-profit organizations. Non-profit. I've not made a buck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we get on to the AMAs? Yes, I, yes, I think yes, it's yes. 11 past. Yeah. And I'm oh, wow, we're on omelet, five. My omelet yeah. is ready. Your omelet is but ready. Are we getting kebabs to celebrate today? Of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You for said sure. We'll, 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 under 12, we'll be able to order kebabs. So, that yeah, earlier yeah. coffee conversation that we were having, right? We also, like, PNL, your, like, Sikh and your. Uh, uh, I don't want to, I mean to get angry, <laughs> but we can get kebabs from uh, clubs. Let's do it, let's do it. Otis Club, what is close? You need to be a membership to get a parcel. I Somebody will have. Kavita, she'll have some friends. She lives in the area. See, we are sorry. We don't come from Playmate like Club. The... Playmate Club is somewhere there in Juhu. Playmate? You know, all the film stars started a club called Playmate Club. It's famous. Film stars. I don't know. So you, they weren't allowing the actors to become members of our Tony clubs for some reason up to ah. the 80s and 90s. I think that's yeah. what like Soho House wanted to be. That's what Otters was. Otters no. oh, so was, well. was the first. Oh. Otters was the first then who allowed oh. them in. Like for, for like Bandra now, stars. Now we'll bend over backwards if Ranbir uh, Singh uh, Kapoor or whatever his name is comes in. <laughs> that's They'll true. be like, membership is coming, sir. You'll give money later. No, there, there was a, uh, there, there was such a anti-Bollywood kind of. These and all actors. People. You could never say, yeah. I was told in the interview also, don't say you act and all that. Oh. It's supposed to be looked down upon. I mean, it's looked down upon because of the bad standard of acting, yeah. not because of the profession <laughs> per se. It's wrong. Say, no. wow, man, Amit, you're getting like so much love on this show. They're just like, why don't you come on the show? I don't like having him on the show because they all and they all like only him. Hey, man. They, you know, because it's pretty poignant when they don't mention the others, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been going on for seven years. Let's this remind this everybody, this is Cyrus says. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm of no significance. It's like my marriage. I just, I'm there, but nobody just knows. Just there, no? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. it, it is it, it, in all sense uh, fairness. It is his day more than anybody else's, and to some extent your day. I think it's less our day. Fair. Although we are part fair. of the team, of we're part of the yeah. team, and we enjoy Absolutely. it, no doubt. But deep yeah. down, I mean, he's had to go through shit and all that. So I think he sure. deserves but, I mean, one second. Everybody second. did. I mean, yeah. like it's everybody. It's not. No, me. I go through shit for other reasons, like organ fair failure enough. and no parking, yeah. and you know, my problems are different. Yeah, yeah. really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but you you put everything on the on no, the line. I, you put the, everything the, on the line. I, I did, but for one I, business. listen, I'm not the only one, right? In the sense that I mean, like uh, all of the problems that Suresh, please call Suresh in for the final all, goodbye. All, we all of the issues that we had, all oh. the issues that we went through, right? I mean, like everybody who was there for that one year period, which was it wasn't maybe a year, it was maybe eight months, which were really really tough, right? Yeah. I mean, like the from. Uh, October 2019 to probably about when we finalized the acquisition. Not to mention they got the pandemic in the middle of that. Huh? Yeah. yeah, no, it was it was a pandemic time, yeah, right? Yeah. But I mean, like everybody was going through that. I mean, like uh, it I was. 2020 was a crazy year. Yeah, it was, like, it was just like what? If you had exchange like? one year in your life, would it be 2020? I'm thinking all of us. This yeah, generation. actually, it was it it's, was what it was, but it did. I mean, we did really well. But then I mean, again, we sort of swam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean you know what they say when push comes to shove, yeah. that's when you dance or not. Kind of yeah. got too many metaphors. I just scar go back tissue, into this Scar tissue. Yeah. No, but it's amazing because I remember having this conversation with someone that if we survive 2020 podcast, that is, we survive. Yeah. yeah. Because there's no way. This is like World War. Once you get through the World War, the small battles will always be, you know. But in a way, podcasts were built to survive the pandemic. But, right? but you didn't know that really because yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, we yeah. didn't now know. Now it makes that's sense that it would. Yeah. yeah. No, we took so much pride about like recording in the studio. Yeah. And, it, you know, yeah. the, the nature of the business was such that you came into the studio to record whether it was a weekly schedule, bi weekly schedule, all yeah. of that, right? And then you were just like, okay, we can't go to the studio. So, now what and, and then we just continued recording and it just 
we didn't stop ever mm-hmm. i mean i don't think we, i don't i don't think we missed uh, almost any also because we, missed who, anything. Yeah, yeah, we, we missed may have missed because of tech Oh. Something went wrong. <laughs> I don't want to take names. Uh, no, I mean like <laughs> you know, I mean like Early cyclones in Alibag. Uh, cyclones in ah. Alibag. That was horrible. I, I nearly cried tears. Yeah. My staff have never seen me angry. <laughs> I'm not really an angry guy. I, I get impulse angry for five seconds, never more. And that's I, when Maya realized that oh my god, I, 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 I threw everything on the that. table. I threw the pepper stuff and all that was on the table. I was so angry because this idiot wasn't answering the phone. The the, the Wi-Fi guy. Oh damn! So he, he's an Alibag. He I mean, told really, us. Like, no, he had answered and told my wife that he'll come back at nine in the morning. So we had pushed. Dates around and all that, and then he—it was a long. He just led us on for another twenty-four hours. That I was, was like, "Come on, man!" Probably like just recorded. They don't understand the live. You know, the support. No, totally, they, yeah. they always thought we can just keep rescheduling. Yeah. Not taking us seriously. No, no, they don't care about this stuff. Yeah. Dude. Honestly, they don't yeah. give a shit about this. I mean, like, no, no, he, look. To be honest, there were lots of problems, yeah. and obviously, he had to sort that out. But he, why can't they communicate honestly? Be- I'm okay with the fact that you can't help me. Just tell me so that I can tell you all, and we I can agree. then deal with it. I agree. But I'm still trying to buy time, and Silvery, as usual, will not call my bluff. So he say, "Okay, okay, you're sure, you're sure, whatever." You know. Maybe if he had said, you know, I'm sure it won't happen, then I would have. We wanted to check. So it's, it's his fault. <laughs> it's Silvery's fault. I just sure. No, he <laughs> have little faith. No, it's yeah. just like, yeah, maybe it just but automatically. But we always want to hear what we want to hear, so That's I want true. to believe what he's saying. <laughs> but I'm the only one who thinks like that. I think everybody else listening to it realizes it's not going to happen. Yeah. Well. But that was a horrible thing, you know. Yeah. Mm. Oof. All right. It's eleven ten. Let's do a few. Let's AMAs. do a few quickly. Yeah. Let's yes. all remove our clothes and. Yes. Uh, Breathe deeply. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's my yoga class. Sorry, so sorry. a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people, of course, are saying congrats to 900 episodes. Congrats to uh, IBM seven years. Uh, But anyone who's watching is saying that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, some people, some people, one of a few of friends and family. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Akshay Kaya says yesterday was Kajol's birthday. Any <laughs> message you hey, have yeah, for Kajol? Birthday, How can Kajol? you miss that? Silver, you should tell us. We look so insensitive. Why did you not? And now it'll be so fake to say, oh, I don't know everyone's birthdays, guys. But she's close to you. Yes. No, I mean, you knew about the hospital bed story. No, I didn't. You What? didn't know. Oh, of course, I didn't. Story. What a story! What, What is, is that? that? Kajal is gold, yeah, man. I think Ayushi was on that episode, and she was just like. Ayushi was like. Shut up, everybody. <laughs> Ayushi thought she was in the. <laughs> this was greatness. Even I thought <laughs> that you know it was like some fetish story, <laughs> like like. But just the best like part is itself. after finding him weird. And whatever she happened, went to she, went back. Back. Yeah. she went back. She went back. I'm sorry, ladies. It's Two Women's Day. You, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you're telling <laughs> us clearly all the signals are wrong. <laughs> you went yeah. back. So obviously, the <laughs> yeah. was it, was it John Abraham? That's the question. We don't know. Could be. Could be. We'll never know. Yeah. A very happy birthday to Kajol. Yes. Happy birthday, uh, Kajol. Never ask birthday, a woman her age, yeah. but Google it so we can put it up on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, done. All right. Uh, next up comes from Shaukh Bakshi. He says, uh, "Cyrus, have you ever gotten police protection for any important event? Please share experiences." See for me, it's highly embarrassing because when they give us bodyguards at events and they do uh, whatever, people are wondering whether you're part of the bodyguards because mm. they don't know who you are. It's you my know? joke like if, about if you Am- not being it, able to walk straight into a door because no, no, hey, if, 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 no, no, that if it's Amitabh Bachchan, <laughs> then you know, and then you see the VIP guys. Yeah. When you don't know who the guy is really, you don't know why the bodyguards <laughs> are who. I just look at an organizer, you know, one more organizer, <laughs> and then the, another bodyguard. So it does happen. But what I hate, I don't know why they do this, is they push people aside. That's terrible. Why actually, do you push really people aside? Like people that actually don't. Card. They don't hurt you. It's very rare, and you know when you're in a bad situation where you know it's a real mob. Generally, people are just trying to say hello. You can't push them aside. Exactly, you know, this is true. violence. I, I find it very repulsive when the, these bodyguards also behave like that. Also, safari suit bodyguards, are, and especially oh, those terrible. cowboy suits. Those are just like safari I can't understand they why you extra. have this just that look. Hopped up energy Kavita, to jump out on, of car. That that firstly Stop that look it. is wrong. Yeah. That look is so retro yeah. and ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, what is what is out of work businessman from Dalal like Street is now? Also, these like SUV <laughs> driving like it's got this little vibe which is just shit. And then these the self importance for five minutes when Udav Ji is in the car, their chests are out and. Think about 59 years of this is your career, career right hand yeah. at my five year old daughter in the car. Like yeah. please, child, move away. What what are you doing? <laughs> Or some Pomeranian on the road? Snowy, snowy. Take it out. Okay, it's snowy. It's snowy. <laughs> I have to tell you. It's snowy. <laughs> it's snowy. If you name your dog with S, S and you don't walk your dog, then the dog's name is E S. Okay, let's face it. That's the way it works. So don't bother. That's why we have four names only for dogs: Tommy, Kalu. Uh, biscuit, moti, and moti. That's yes, it. Correct. We biscuit. don't allow to go beyond that. Yes. Nice. All uh. right. Next one comes from Prashant Utekar. Uh, he says, "Hey, Cyrus Prashant, uh, yeah, yeah. friend of the network, old fan, Prashant, also Prashant. host, also yeah. host. Yeah. So he talks about that. He says, uh, Cyrus and Amit inspired me to create my own podcast, the Real Learning Podcast, and the dream came true to host it on IVM. So thank you, Amit." And thank you so much, thank and good you. luck for many, many more years. Really, I would say aim higher, but thanks. <laughs> 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 All right. Next question comes from Pranshu Parik. He says, "Pranshu, uh, he's a good friend. He got me my gym in Jaipur. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Took me to a well, lovely guy. Big okay. cricket nut. Again, Absolute. he's wow. again. Silvery is just like." 
who are you talking about do you know your listeners pranshu parik is a friend of his the thing about the podcast brings people closer pranshu yeah. actually did the jaipur lit festival and he was one of the okay. organizers oh, nice. so we we have a certain relationship yeah. we're always chatting about cricket Okay, well, yeah. ah, nice. I don't have anyone. I, I don't okay. have anyone IBM to chat with. <laughs> the, the guy in the tent. <laughs> and now he's playing right. that card where he he's like the dumb blonde. He's yeah. playing the dumb blonde yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I'll be dumber than <laughs> I really am. So he loves the yeah. idea of making some stupid yeah. comment when we are discussing cricket. And Isn't Ganguly that is Arjun with me. Sachin Tendulkar, Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah, no, no, but that was not dumb blonde. That was a moment. No, no, that I I was like I was fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. I could see from yeah. his face. Like, uh, I actually, like, I don't yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying. Just the most just, famous man in India's kid. It's possible. You can avoid pop culture because he's a pop culture guy. There are other Gavaskars, no. Uh, sorry, other Jadejas, not other Jadejas. 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 Ha, ha. Jadejas. There are also other Jadejas, Gavaskars, Jadejas, but they don't. Jadejas, yeah, exactly. Like, so other other times you could also say you never know. So there are many Singh Subramaniams. Then what is your point here? Every name is could, common. He could have been a non Sachin Tendulkar. Like he could have been. You could not have been Sachin Tendulkar. You know? Refer to the episode. I'm not having this argument <laughs> yeah. again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is not right. I already have two kids. I can't afford a third. This is ridiculous. This is a pointless point. All right. So Pranshu is uh, he's going to go to America and. Uh, Not unfortunately, people have every right to go wherever and study there, and then maybe you know that'll be his future. We don't know. But in Rajasthan, he's my point man. He's superb. Jaipur, you guys need to Jaipur. go anywhere. Night club, gym, meet friends, Pranshu, talk to people. Uh, Tinder, Pranshu is your guy. Jaipur is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Pranshu Parikh asks Amit, how long do you think uh, that podcast culture will last in India? Hey? Will last. Sorry. Forever. Uh, from the listeners and creators' perspective too. Yeah, I think forever is the right. Uh, so basically, the challenge is that conversational content is something that we have not had in India. Now that once that starts growing, then I th- I don't see it going away. Now, hmm. the delivery mechanism might change. It might be that instead of listening via your phone, it's you're listening via a chip implanted into your wrist. I don't know what. No, there, are, dude. You don't know what. You don't know how delivery of content changes over the years. It's essentially you're transmitting zeros and ones, right? It's data. There are many ways yeah. that you can. Go. Beta, you need your wrist for other things. <laughs> <laughs> there is no marriage in your future. Maybe it is. Is mom listening? Is mom listening? <laughs> there is. There is. Yeah. Yeah. There is. Maybe it's a chip implanted in the back of your neck. Whatever. There, it, it, it. We don't know. Maybe it's not a phone. Maybe it's a hologram. Maybe it's like you know. Maybe it's a watch based. You, you don't know what that's going to be. Here's what I think. But, I'm, I have no idea about podcasts. So he's, he, let's listen to him because he's the guy who's thinking of the future and yeah. planning. Yeah. But I think what what I've noticed is the next generation. Pranchu and all that—they're much younger than me. They want what they want. Now he's a cricket buff. Pranchu mm. will take his own example. So he listens to cricket podcasts. Mm. Okay. So that's—I think the subject matter is more important. The custom-made sort of delivery that you're getting, and then of course the tech custom-made as well Correct. is another story altogether. So I—I I can't see the podcast dying. We might die, but podcast will just grow and maybe change, so podcast, evolve, but what, grow. What is podcast, right? I mean, like fundamentally. Yeah, what is podcast? What so is podcast? It's fundamentally a. It's a. Talk Can you make show. it funny? It's a content show. It's yeah. a show about <laughs> discussion, right? And it's it, that's that's what a podcast. But what does pod is. mean? Pod. Pod comes from the, the word iPod. iPod. Yeah. iPod. So it's an Apple. It's an iPod cast. It's yeah. an Apple product. It's not. It's not an Apple product. He hates, not hates, but he's not a big fan. <laughs> it's not an Apple product. It's, it's a product a that first started being delivered efficiently on Apple. Apple, yeah. Right and before that, seven years like later, you tell me this. Before that, it was internet radio. Yeah, talk so, radio. Or talk radio. Yeah. Talk radio. Yeah. Talk radio yeah. before I, that. I find that's the best way to explain it, it to is. people of my age. Yeah. Radio okay. on the internet. Well, mostly that's in hospitals, answer. anyway. So radio it's on like, the internet. Sharma, it's like talk radio, huh? Talk radio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've woken up. The, the engineer is finally awake. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, the last one is just a comment, uh, but very apt from Grim Fandango, who says, <laughs> "Oh, Fandango. That's the uh, two things. The toast, that famous show. Yeah. Uh, toast. Have you all seen it? No. Uh, so he does this bit with uh, with the lead actor. Toast. You got to see Toast. I've not seen. It's hilarious. So they just irritate him, and he's a voiceover artist, also he's an audiobook oh, actor. Okay. And he says, uh, uh, "Hello, this is Clem Fandango," and of course from the reference to Queen song, Queen Bohemian song, Rhapsody. Yeah, okay. yeah. Also the name of a ticketing website in the US. Yes. But that must have come later, right? Probably after the Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. for sure. Fandango, you. Okay, Grim Fandango huh. uh, says Cyrus is a very impatient but a very bright lad. Lad. Uh, he <laughs> should lad. have been a teacher slash professor. He is multi talented. My God. I think uh, so. You even less money. Huh? <laughs> 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 this is not positive I thinking. Just... It's like, or come karo. Uh, no club membership now. I'm the guy parking the cars because I teach by day. Yeah. But that will be an interesting question but to ask Mikhail, right? Like. You want your father to be no, Mikhail doesn't that care. Teacher. No, but at that age, they don't <laughs> care. Like they only need me when they need me. But you know, this is a funny thing, and this is really obvious. I've never understood. We've discussed this uh, on the podcast. 
teachers, especially higher level teachers, even primary teachers, um, they are very well educated people. Yeah. And in the correlation payment scale, they are the worst paid. No, no, they're not. No, now, now it's a little better. But Amit, what are you saying? I had PhDs in my school and no. they were struggling. So the thing is, and my is, dad was just an LLB. I mean, uh, comparatively, there, there there are market forces, right? So uh, teachers mm. who are doing stuff where they are, like, I mean, I remember even in school, right? We used to pay this one accounting uh, teacher. That's the tuition thing. That it's like cash. Thing. Cash comes tuition. into the market to because they, it has to equalize. Because it's really no, because unfair. You're, uh, so here's the problem, right? I mean, like, and this is. But a, they should be paid more. Uh, so here, this is the problem. What are the market forces when you're talking about school teaching, right? You're talking about teaching in school. Uh, let's be kind of blunt here. School curriculums are not that complicated. Yeah, okay, but uh, many of them are still overeducated for what they teach. Uh, yeah, I, 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 hear what I hear what you're saying. Then teaching the fifth standard boy is just, you know, uh, rules of, uh, you know, I don't know, mathematatic tables. Or I can't yeah, even exactly. So, I mean, like, that's... Maybe, maybe fourth standard then. That becomes a very replaceable skill, right? And, I mean, like, it, so it, it, the, the thing is that teachers become... Teachers are very important to development, but those are non... Like, you know, they're very difficult to analyze kinds I, of I still issues. feel slightly overeducated sometimes. I, I see the guys in my uh, daughter's school at the moment, and she talks to me about their profiles when their profiles oh. this is what we do yeah. it's like bitching <laughs> who is this teacher what are their background many of them are so well educated they travel the world and everything and I'm wondering why what if they are listening to the podcast they don't <laughs> teachers they're, they're from their daughters they're in school right now no? schools are oh, okay. 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 correct right, right. right. now they can't. super correct. Correct. <laughs> lucky <laughs> now, now, now you sound like me the moron because that's the only time you can hear yeah, the show, show. <laughs> 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 yep we do this show for 168 people and that's it yeah. nobody else oh one day we had a lot more uh, uh, how uh, many I am Bangalore day we yeah, had so, 2,000 people. Yeah. There oh, 2, that was a Sunday? 2,000 people were forced to listen or they were thrown <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I think if we go to North Korea, we talk hmm. Kim Jong-un, the whole country has to listen really? to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Amazing. Just sort of praise him twice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do we do that here? Mm, let me guess. There Who were 2,000 live <laughs> or 2,000 on, on YouTube? No, no. Two, no live. We didn't do a live. Uh, it was... Uh, it we was did like, an event for IVI. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, it was there. Yeah. Well, that's great. Did that spoil the market for us? What was 168? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. 170. 170. 170. Okay. Yeah. Two. I'm constantly looking at the numbers every time I'm watching. The guy the serving chai has come in and sat next to the guy yeah. who's drinking it. Kya hai beta? Haan, dekho. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any final comments as we wind up a very long show, almost one and a half hours? Yeah, God, yeah, I'm tired. No. When knees this, are paining. This huge congrats, Cyrus, and huge congrats, Amit and Kavita. Congrats, yeah, Cyrus. I Glad would like to be a part of this. I would like to thank my mother and my father. Yeah, do your Oscar speech. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna get the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> I've already. Get you one. I've invented one called the Matosh now. One of the guys who works with us in CNBC. Ah. So I said that we'll give our own internal awards called the Matosh, Matosh. Okay. and we give him away basically because he is short for. It's his middle name or something. His real okay. name is Siddharth. But it's a long story. To cut a long story short, he's a guy who we want to, you know, bully a lot for some reason. So, yeah. Why is that? So, the Mathosh goes to <laughs> Silvery. And then he comes and sits on your lap. It's like, the, that's the award. Should I? Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, that's it. Seven years. Congratulations. Big hug to myself. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. 900 Thank episodes. You. 900 and we'll be back episodes, in four yeah. months to celebrate your thousandth episode. Now that you're Give nice. or take a day. Because huh? yep. yep. there's leave pending. Ha 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 ha